general day for us. Uh, if we practice, uh, we'll get in three hours before the team shows up, get everything set up, and uh, then I'll have a crew inside running uh, the equipment room for all the players to show up. We've got a great group. Um, this is probably the best group I've had since I've been here. Uh, but again, we work hard, but we also play hard. Uh, you know, we, we try to make it fun uh, from a day-to-day -day basis. We see each other sometimes 17, 18 hours a day. So uh, we know each other pretty well, and, and we make it work. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's all about the work. Uh, for the success of our team. Middle Tennessee freshman who served in Marines appeals ban of eligibility for 2013 season. Dang. Hey, they say so it's like, like on national news. news. Yeah, it's on ESPN. Look. Oh, no doubt. They they are all into the social media thing. Uh, we've kind of ramped up our efforts with our Twitter page at MTSU Equipment uh, for those of you who aren't following us. But uh, for the most part, uh, yeah, these guys do a great job at handling all that good stuff and uh, making sure that we run a smooth operation. We'll be back at one. Uh, we'll go outside, run through their routine. Uh, the team should be coming back to get dressed by two. Vinny Bo starts at three. So, uh, we go. Go. I'm just one of the guys. You know, I, I generally try to stay out of that stuff, uh, but uh, I think they know when when the time's right uh, for their uh, their jokes and good stuff. But again, uh, we work very hard in doing what we do, but we also have a great time doing it. What we do kind of ranges from setting up headsets, testing those for our coaches, uh, testing the jugs machine uh, day to day, uh, making sure that all our drills are set up and ready for the next thing. Uh, so again, there's a variety of things that we do, making sure the lights are on, making sure that we have red hats for the scouts and whatnot. So again, uh, our job description is very broad. Uh, but again, whatever we can do to make our program's operation smooth is, is kind of our end of the day goal. I got Smith and he can't hear me. Can't be here. I can't hear nothing now. Personally, uh, you know, I believe we're the backbone of our, our program. Again, uh, their success is our success. So when we do well in here, obviously we see it on the field on Saturdays. Hey. Blake. All right, if you got an offense belt pack over there. All right. So, so if you're ever with us on a game, we'll do this all the time before you guys already know but everybody can hear me all right I can hear all y'all everything sound clear it varies every day uh, just depending on what we have obviously at this point we're getting ready for the first game so there's a uh, there's a, a long time after practice that we're here inventory and getting ready for getting ready for the game generally four to five hours after practice uh, in preseason For the most part, uh, we'll set out dummies out on the practice field, uh, go over the practice scripts uh, so that our coaches aren't waiting on us on the field. We believe in staying one step ahead of the team. So whatever we can do from an inside standpoint, just make sure towels in the locker room, all their practice gear is ready for them when they show up. I've preached our guys to be a step ahead of their coaches, be a step ahead of the players uh, so that they're never waiting on us. Well, at the end of the year, just the team accomplishments. That's what we do it for and, you know, making the bowl game and just seeing the product that we put on the field every week. Uh, hopefully that's the reward and, and what we get in the end. Typical day after practice, we'll come in, we'll meet as a staff, uh, then we break up into teams. We'll have a team doing laundry. Uh, that could take anywhere from two to three hours. Uh, then we've got a team that makes sure that all the inventory is right, our equipment room's clean. Uh, so generally, four hours after practice and we're out of here. Whatever happens in the equipment room stays in the equipment room, so we don't we don't elaborate too much about those stories. But uh, again, like I said earlier, uh, we believe in having a great time. All of these kids do a great job of making sure that we're on point. Uh, again, I rely on them uh, to make sure that we run, run a smooth operation. So uh, we have a great time doing it, but at the end of the day, it's all about the hard work and the dedication that they have to this program.